Let me tell you, there have been amazing strides in the world of treating breast cancer and much attention to the success stories. However, many diagnosed with advanced stages of the disease feel overlooked. Theirs are difficult stories of emotional and physical pain, but they can also be stories of love, newfound contentment, and yes, joy. Such is the case with Susan Rosen. When Susan Rosen was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer at just 45 years old, she found herself being strong for everyone else. To be honest with you, everybody else was more upset than me. My friends were more upset, my family was more upset. And I just kept thinking, everything's going to be okay. At the time, her daughter Michaela was 15, her son Max, just 11. It was a very different um, environment in the house. It went from being this just fun, loving, always, everyone's always happy, to, you know, we're sitting around watching TV, mom's sleeping for most of the day, and it was tough to watch, you know, an 11-year-old seeing your mom pretty much sick all the time, it's not easy. Susan's chemotherapy treatments left her with debilitating side effects. My life changed. From the chemotherapy, I was sleeping 17 hours a day, I felt awful. I felt very sick. I felt like a terrible mother and a wife. Couldn't do anything. They give you um, Decadron, it's a steroid. Um, and for some chemotherapies, you need to, to be on that. And that, that made me very irritable. Decadragon, we called her Decadragon because she was just uh, very ir irritable. And yeah, she was not as much fun to be with. I was nasty and I knew I was nasty. Fearful of what was to come, emotions were raw and intense for everyone at home. I was very angry. Um, it just kind of, I remember just saying like, why? Like, this isn't fair. And I went from being like sad and like, like this changes everything to just really, really mad. Like this is not fair. Like my mom doesn't deserve this. And I just remember like, you know, at 15, you just really want your mom to like see you go to prom and to get your driver's license and to graduate high school. And we didn't know if like that was going to happen. But Susan did recover and was able to be there for Michaela's high school graduation. For three years, the Rosen family enjoyed normalcy, traveling together and making each other laugh. Then the cancer returned stage four metastatic breast cancer. The first thing I did when I got home after hearing about the metastatic diagnosis, I sat on the couch and I started crying and Mark walked in and I said to him, I'm never gonna be a grandmother. That bothers me. Even though she's been told her cancer is incurable this time, Remarkably, Susan lives every day with a positive attitude. Yahtzee! <laughs> Sometimes my mind wanders and I go to that dark place. Death and what's going to happen and all that craziness. Um, and then I come back. I don't allow myself to stay there. I want to be my normal self, but I have a new normal now. It's different. Her stage four diagnosis was three years ago. She continues therapies as long as they help and then moves on to other treatments when they don't. In the meantime, she's passing on some important lessons, like sharing family recipes. Okay, wait, these are too big. Go, go half. <laughs> and she's been writing legacy books for her children. I want to leave a part of me for them. I've talked to some people whose parents have passed away, and they're sad that they never left them anything. She even started a blog documenting her cancer journey called Let Us Be Mermaids. Oh, I write about how my life is not defined by metastatic breast cancer because I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a person who likes to travel and cook and garden and um, have fun with her friends, go out. I, I'm so much more than my cancer. And most important, She's enjoying quality time with her family, finding joy in the most simple aspects of daily life. If there's things I can't change, I can't worry about it. Because it'll stop me from living, especially 
results from scans and if the cancer keeps spreading. If I keep dwelling on that, I'm going to be miserable and I don't want to be like that. I have a family, I have lots of friends. I want to keep on living and enjoying life.